a pleasure to uh, to listen to someone from from Singapore. So you're my uh, you're my first contact. Uh, it's a place I enjoy very much. I've been, uh, been. So how fantastic is that? I'm sitting here on my little DMR handheld made by Redivis, listening to a guy in Singapore speak to a guy in America, sitting in my front room. Ultimately, it's mostly done over the internet, but this is quite a cool device. Anyway, let me show you the trials and tribulations that I've had <laughs> trying to make this all work and hang together properly. This is the Redivis RT3S. And what I wanted to do today was answer a couple of questions. One, digital radio, is it good? Is it worth it? Two, is the Redivis RT3S any good? So let's get straight on with number one. <laughs> so it took me about three days of trying to understand how to program code plugs into your radio, how to group zones, how to group contacts, uh, how to create contact lists and scan lists, what color codes are for repeaters. What It's so complex. It really is quite a lot of hard work trying to program one of these radios. And it doesn't matter whose radio you buy. It could be an Anytone, it could be a Redivis, it could be a, I don't know, all, all sorts of radios out there. But ultimately, programming that code plug is going to be a small headache for you. There are code plugs available online. There's lots of good videos out there for programming code code plugs and for creating your own code plugs, well worth obviously checking out YouTube and all the rest of it. So that's sort of part one of this done, code plugs. It takes about a day to get your head around code plugs and programming these radios. So after having figured out how to program the radio, I then decided I'd like to put a hotspot in the house because I couldn't access any local repeaters. So I started off with a Raspberry Pi Zero, a little kit that I bought from eBay, but sadly that was just completely gutless. So I took the modem hat off of that kit and put it on a proper Raspberry Pi and adapted an old case to make things look a little bit nicer rather than just a couple of circuit boards hanging out the back of your internet router. And then what I wanted to do was customize everything so that the aerials were a little bit smaller and everything was more convenient for use around the inside of the house. Now, if you are going to buy some connectors, one fantastic company based in the UK has an eBay shop and also a website, wwwm 0 mat .co.uk. Fantastic customer service, brilliant quality connectors. So one disadvantage for me is we're located down in a sort of valley area and I don't really get a lot of radio reception here. Uh, so even analog um, handy talkies like the Baofengs with long aerials on them and they just still don't quite get into the repeaters. The local repeaters are just a little bit too far for me. Um, so it's a real shame. And actually one thing that I have been missing is a little bit of radio. But I'm talking about portable radio rather than having to go to your base station and connect to your big aerial and all that kind of stuff. But having a nice little handy talkie kicking around and being able to listen and chat with people is really quite cool. As I say, because of my signal location, I just can't do that very well. With this, with digital radio and a hotspot, I absolutely can do it. So the next thing we do is we have to build our own hotspot. A hotspot is like a little internet repeater. It's not much bigger than this handy here. And basically uh, you can build them out of Raspberry Pis, uh, something called Pi Star, and you plug a little modem into the top of it. It's got a tiny little aerial on it. And it ultimately allows you to use your digital handheld to communicate to that little hotspot inside your house. And that's what we were just listening to. We were listening to a guy in Singapore chat to a guy in America. How cool is that? Sitting in my front room. And if I'd have wanted to, I could have gone ahead and called those guys back on this handheld here. I'm, <laughs> I'm gonna ask a controversial question. Is this real radio? In some ways, yes, and in other ways, no. If you consider that basically most of the audio and most of the distance that's traveled by the audio that you're speaking and listening to is over VOIP. It's ultimately uh, going over the internet. Um, yeah, the short hop from the radio, from my radio here to the other side of my lounge where my hotspot is, it is radio, but it's it's not the challenging kind of radio that I've been used to, which is 
getting to the top of a hill, putting up an antenna, pointing at someone and going, yes, I've made it into Germany on VHF or something along those lines. But it is, you know, it is sort of cool. It, it, it does definitely do what it says on the tin. And it's so convenient to have it around the house because you can listen to various different conversations, in various different countries. It's, it is really quite enjoyable from that perspective. So one thing that this has done for me is it's brought radio back into my life in the form of a handheld. And that is something that I will say uh, is invaluable. Um, the other side of this, obviously, if I go to the top of a hill, I can go ahead and use this to connect to a digital repeater, which is sort of more real radio, if you like. And then that digital repeater will then retrunk all of my audio out and back through the internet to various other places around the world. So it is really quite cool the way this works and I do appreciate it, but <laughs> but there's a little bit of me that sort of feels, oh, it's not real radio. It's sort of, you know, like having a Skype call on your phone. And actually some people have been telling me that now you can get DMR applications <laughs> for your phone. So ultimately you can do all of this from your phone straight to the internet and bypass the whole radio bit. Nah, you know, um, yeah. So there's that side of it and the purist in me sort of feels as though we're cheating a little bit there. But I will say, absolutely fantastic. Um, as I say, you know, has it's just so convenient. It's brought all of that radio back into, into my life. It's brought it back into my home. Um, much to my wife's dismay. And I can now listen to conversations all around the world, normally about the weather or hip replacements, but I can listen into, I can listen into conversations all around the world. It's absolutely fabulous. And I can take part in those conversations as well, which is really quite cool. Obviously you need to be a licensed radio ham. So if you're not a licensed ham before buying any of this kit, please do make sure that you've got your ham radio license and you know what you're doing. So the Handy itself then, is the Handy any good? Well, I've got to be honest, I really like it. I've changed the aerial light on mine because it came with like a half foot antenna on the top of it. And what I've done is I put a little stubby duck on it and that's perfect for use around the house here. And actually one thing I will say is with the hotspot that we've got in the house, I've walked 250 meters. I've still been able to make contact with people through this radio and the digital hotspot. So the hotspot has certainly got quite a lot of range, which is nice. Obviously this radio has got a good bit of range too. It's got five watts. It's got some incredible amount of um, space for storing channel information, for storing your contact information, probably more than you'd ever need. It also has the ability to record audio, which is quite an interesting feature. So you can go ahead and have a conversation with somebody, or you can be listening to a conversation and you can press a button on here and you can go ahead and record audio through this handset. The handset itself is a good solid construction. The battery in it is a 7.4 volt lithium ion pack and it's got uh, about 2000 milliamp hours worth of power and you can use this on low power for a whole day quite happily uh, in the house. And that's something that I've successfully done quite a number of times. So quite pleased with that. The functionality is quite good. One thing that I will say is occasionally when you're rotating the dial top on the top of it, instead of the, the, the channel numbers going up or down in the direction of the dial, occasionally when you first rotate the dial, it'll send you backwards, even though you've gone in a clockwise direction. So there's something a little bit funky with the code there. And perhaps what I need to do is update the firmware in this unit, which is perfectly possible. In order to program the unit, you need to stick a programming cable into the headphone socket and microphone socket on the side of it. And effectively that creates a little USB link uh, into your laptop. And then you can install your code plugs and you can adjust programming of the unit like that. It's got low, medium, high power range settings. And the speaker on it is actually really quite loud. It's quite a beefy speaker. The display on it is very quite pleasant. It's really easy to see. Um, and there's many different options to be able to configure it to do other things. Now, obviously you can use this as a standard analog handheld as well as a digital radio. So you can connect this uh, to your local repeaters. It'll accept uh, CTCSS tone codes, uh, DCS tone codes, 
And so it has all of the standard analog repeater functionality embedded in it as well. So not only is it a digital handset, it's also an analog handset. And at the price, and I think these are going for around 90 pounds for the price of one of these, that is in my humble opinion, very good indeed. So anyway, this is my first Retavis handheld. And I will say, I'm not unhappy with it. And in fact, I'm quite pleased with it. So just to summarize then, digital radio, is it worth it? Yes, digital radio, is it cheating? A little bit. Um, this Redivis handset, is it worth it? Definitely. Um, it has the digital modes, the analog modes, and the price point offers exceptional value, I would say. Let's just demonstrate this handset's digital radio functionality, and we'll make a quick contact through the PiStar homebrew hotspot that I've put together. Mexico Zero X-Ray X-Ray X-Ray. This is Kilo November 4, Golf Julia Victor, Orlando, Florida. Yeah, Kilo November 4, Golf Juliet Victor, Mexico Zero X-Ray X-Ray X-Ray. Name's Howard, location is in the southwest of the UK. Very good morning to you. It's afternoon for us here. Lovely sunny day. Hope everything's fantastic in Florida. From M0XXX. Thank you. My name is Romeo India Charlie Kilo Rick, and I'm Orlando. And Orlando did okay in the hurricane, but the rest of the state uh, is still working through some of the flooding. So, uh, you know, it's a situation that needs to be dealt with, but it uh, was pretty catastrophic along the uh, uh, West Coast. So, but Orlando did okay. Uh, what part of uh, the United Kingdom are you in? Uh, back to you, sir. Yeah, hi Rick. Okay, sorry to hear that you've had some inclement weather out there. Um, and uh, glad to hear that uh, that you guys were okay in your little spot. Um, yeah, we're in the Shire. We're in Gloucestershire. So uh, we live in little hobbit holes over here. I'm obviously just making fun, H-I-H-I. -H -H -I. Uh, but uh, yeah, everything's good here. Just testing out my uh, digital Redivis uh, handheld. And uh, I've recently put together a little hotspot. So this is uh, early doors of digital uh, DMR radio communications for me. But so far, I've really been enjoying the experience. Uh, back to you, over. Well, it's working well for you. Uh, I'm receiving the, uh, your actual ID, but not your name and, and location. So you may want to update the database to put that information in if you so choose. So I'm sure you're seeing on your radio uh, my information. So your radio's working fine. I can read you clearly. Spot and radio. So I'll bid you adieu. Don't want to tie up 91 too much. So this is KN4, GJV. I'll be clear on your final. Have a great afternoon. So thank you ever so much for watching. Take care, you guys. Have a wonderful, wonderful week and weekend. And we'll catch you in the next video. Cheers and beers, people. Bye for now.